Yo, what's up boys? Welcome back to the channel and today is actually kind of a different vid, but I'm going to do this new series called Voice Stitch Explains, right? Where I'll explain certain in-game concepts, theories, and strategies. Remember that if you want to support me, you can use code VUJ in the item shop. And if you want a follow back on Twitter, post video proof of you using my code to buy something in the item shop on Twitter and I will retweet it and follow you back. Anyways, enjoy the video boys, later. So the concept I'm going to explain today is basically dead side in endgame and how to rotate using it to make your games better. And first, it starts off in half-half, right? So, what you can see here is when half-half shows off, there's the first half of the zone that's like exposed and everyone can rotate into. And most of the lobby rotates into that portion of the zone before the zone starts closing. So, what's going to happen if you keep that knowledge in your mind? Most of the majority of people have already based in that area of zone that was first exposed so now they go there and then just base up and now you can notice that there's dead side on the left here from that part that wasn't previously exposed and if you keep keep that in mind you can use this to rotate in moving zones so the first moving zone went over to here and ended there so what you can do with this knowledge about dead side in this first moving zone is say you're like a team here maybe like one of these teams and you don't have a pad etc you can what you can do is run on foot around here and use dead side and then you can get around here and then look to what to do next because obviously it'll be a lot worse to run this way because you're gonna be with everyone and they're gonna shoot you and make you scuffed etc But the thing with dead side as well, since there's so much movement in the game, is like the dead side of moving zones only like lasts for like the first half of each zone because what happens is everyone just pads all their Spider-Man into like the same area up here. But dead side like still helps a lot for the first portion of each rotate. And you can see, you can notice here how free it is on the left side compared to the right side. You can almost just run at most turns. And now you can see, since there's so much movement in the game, about halfway through moving zone, like it becomes no dead side because everyone pads and they use their movement and they go as far ahead as possible, which is always going to be the exact middle of the front of the zone. So yeah. So that's how dead side works in first moving. It basically depends on like what the zone was for half half but you can also tell what dead side is in like the next zones the next moving zones like so say the circle is second moving like you just got into the end of first moving and this is a circle you got into everyone rotates in and they all get like max like maximum they get to is usually just the first half of the zone and then they're going to stop and wait for the next zone and then what you'll see is there's almost no one in the further half of the zone and then say the next zone pulls to the right you can if you're in this position here you can cut out to the left dead side and then use it and rotate that way through dead side instead of going this way with all the congestion and I'll show you what that looks like in this zone. First moving was going this way. And now you can see on the left side, it's a lot more dead than this side. <laughs> and as you can see, like, another good tip is always getting to the middle of each moving zone. Which helps you, like, access dead side really easily every time. Just like us, and right in this box here. What we can do now is edit out here and then cut out here and then just go down dead side here instead of going through like here with heaps of people you just have to keep in mind in duos 
with this much movement it just isn't as good as it was in trios because in trios with not much movement going dead side helped you a lot more than in duos with a lot of movement because in duos with a lot of movement a lot of the time you're just using all your movement and then you're landing high up and then just using old builds etc because you don't have many maths so dead side doesn't become as useful in duos as it does in trios with like less mobility when you have to think about what ways you can rotate on foot thanks for watching have a good day